Aloha and welcome to Coco Joy channel. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about copying and pasting, right? And somehow, this is the world we live in right now, where we can literally copy and paste or go into somebody's computer and clone out the information and create your own narrative or your self-discovery of, I did it, you know? And so it's the good and the bad of copying paste in many different ways because it goes back into the olden days where we had intellectual property, where we used to, nowadays we don't, because so many people is copying and pasting somebody else's world, somebody else's knowledge, and cloning it into their own narrative or their own ways. And, you know, lately this has become a huge thing of doing business. And so, like I said, there is a good side of it as well as the not so, mm -mm 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 -mm, because when it comes down to is what is the real background and what is the most interesting thing called knowledge, right? And so for me, I always use that wording, hashtag me too, because there's so many meaning to that. And my, you know, work out in LA where I realized that a lot of my hard work, because I love to work and my mind doesn't stop, you know, getting knowledge and information. And that's my choice because that's the way I curate my mindset. And so sometimes we get into a situation where people see the benefit of this knowledge, right? And so how they can go and benefit from the knowledge. Some people may just extract it and clone into their own narrative and make it their own thing. Or some people get that information and realize that they need that knowledge exactly from the source. And so that's how they build themselves into a better me too being because they get to, you know, the easy way out is like, remember back in school when we used to just copy and paste the answer so we can just pass and get a good grade or get into a good college or even pass the, you know, pass the way of not even learning how to do your homework, right? And so... Later on in life, yeah, we pass with flying colors in that class or we pass with flying color on this, um, you know, ways of doing business or even as we see it in everyday life, how literally, and this is a profession that I'm not smearing or making bad about, but because they're so overwhelmed with cases and lawyers does this all the time where they go in and extract all that information that you worked on and create their own legal documents out of it. And so that's really a fine tune of who's going to pay for it, right? Because they literally went in, took your information, and created their own, and they're getting paid huge amount of money of being a lawyer, okay? And if they do that, sometimes it helps benefit you and your case, or sometimes if you're not involved in that case, it benefits somebody else, and it benefits and give the attorney a shortcut way of doing their business. And so what I'm trying to say is anything we do in life, it starts from some kind of source. And that some kind of source has 
all the information, the knowledge, and pretty much is in control of the narrative because they seen how it all works from the bottom up, right? Just like in our garden, like what I'm doing out there. I know where it has the good dirt because the soil is the most important foundation whether you're building a garden or building a house, you can't build things on a slippery foundation or a slippery rock. You need to build that knowledge, build that information and the source. So when you Google it in your mindset, you know exactly how it's interpreted on the real time because you knew exactly when things started. People can guess, people can alter, people can do many things in this wonderful world we live in right now. But the thing is, is that we have forgotten where the real sources of things comes from. And the real sources of things that comes from is number one, is yourself, right? You need to be in control of your mindset, how your because that controls your spirit, which controls your emotion, which in control how you're going to balance a day of being upset, being happy, being depressed, being anxious, being, where am I? And a lot of times that happens whether you are in a vet's office and all of a sudden your, your, your fur baby has some kind of problems with the skin that is so itchy or the bad breath or that something is wrong with my dog and you don't know why it keeps on winding. Why does it keep on gnawing its paw and chewing and scratching and have this odor? And we want to get that solution because we don't have that guidebook, the playbook on how to do it. Because up to now, people kind of not, especially in the industry, because I'm in that industry. And listen, I used to have a brick and mortar where I only teach my employees where they had to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure, a non-compete on what my tools, I'm teaching them. And so I literally, and I was looking back and I was like, wow, it's been 18 years because I trademarked and registered this method called menopause and how to detox the dog from the inside out working the inner organs that creates all of this sickness, this disease, this illness, this bad breath, this, this itchiness, this, you know, the list goes on. And so I am so excited because now I can really copy and paste my information about how to do things literally in this new world, you know? And that's why I'm saying there is good and there is bad and there is helpful way. It's really on what side of the spectrum or fence you are on. And that's why when we get into a lot of these courses or these coaches or these consulting or all of that information because there is a lot out there and it's such a great tool to use because it's out there and how to do things and so i'm here to tell you that for me how i became the original coco jor with my method you know, it's never, it's, this is the first of its kind that I'm being able to now teach, whether it's a DIY at home and you decide to grow that into 
your own business or you believe in this product so much that listen you can be an affiliation an ambassador or even a distributor and so all of this is really a huge amount of information that I want to let you know and how you can start and getting all of these information with a touch of your finger in my courses as well as my webinar to literally copy and paste from the original founder of how to detox your dog from the inside out as well as creating methods that is never been really taught out there. So that's why I'm so excited about my Coco Jord channel is because there's a lot of original tools and method on how we can go and really solve all of these problems that we first have really how am I going to be able to solve this problem? How am I going to really benefit from this problem? And how to really learn from the source? And so I'm so excited. Don't forget to click in your email and you get to find out all this information and secrets behind of Coco Jor. So stay tuned. I can't wait to see you on the other page. And once again, aloha.